Wow. That was a pretty long time ago. Okay, so I've literally just, I've just raw logged in. I'm not 100% sure what I was doing before. I'm gonna have to sit down and go over everything again. I'm pretty sure it's um, construction and prayer related. Actually, no, it's starting to come back to me. It's shifting tombs. It's damn shifting tombs. Um, but anyway, yeah, why am I back? Why am I back? Well, for one, I am contractually obligated to come back. And two, uh, I miss you guys. I miss you guys. It's not, I didn't miss the game. I mean, that's not entirely untrue. You know, when you play a game as long as I have, when you've played a singular game like RuneScape for 20 years like I have, or almost 20 years, you, of course you're going to miss it when you stop playing for like six or seven months. Um, I didn't, so it, I did miss it a little bit, but that's not what brought me back. What brought me back was all the times people asked me, when are you going to come back? What's it going to take for you to come back? A lot of people coming to me and telling me like, hey, we miss your content, or you were so close to being the first one to you know, complete a region-locked Iron Man on RS3, stuff like that. And, um, well, if there's one way to get me back, it's stroking my ego, and that all did that. So, yeah, that's kind of a quick rundown of why I'm back. The community brought me back. Um, it makes sense when you think about it. The community's pretty passionate. You have to be to keep playing this game. So, um, and, yeah, yeah, that's, where was I going with this? Okay, I need to figure out what the hell it is I'm supposed to be doing. All right, so I sat down. I remembered everything that I had to do. Thankfully, I left myself some useful notes. I needed to get 72 construction to make mermaid purses for a chance at teak planks. Or get super lucky with fire giants and have them drop teak planks so that I could create the bait boxes needed to catch scarabs and hits oasis. The reason I need the scarabs is to make the burial powder so that I can train 80 prayer uh, more reasonably since I need 80 prayer for God Wars dungeon. Now, um, the thought process here is that it's going to be shifting tombs for construction training and then prayer training on the side, too, because I can tick both boxes without losing out. Uh, another chance at that Kopesh that doesn't exist. And um, training combat on fire giants, just on the off chance that maybe they drop them and I can skip the 72 construction grind. I don't know, hopefully we get the comeback luck or something. Oh, right, I forgot. I got the requirements to make Bane equipment. I just don't have the levels. That's why I have 77 attack. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna streamline 80 attack here. Oh right, they've polished this place up. They graphically updated this area since I was last playing. It looks so much better. It's a little uh, no, no, it's not even. It's nice. I like this. This is great. Did they do the smoke dungeon though, or the this this part of it? No, no, they didn't. Maybe next time. Wow, the the timing for um, uh, assault specifically, they have like completely reworked that animation to to just really line it up with the actual like hit timing. And I mean, I was when I was reading the changes, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. But like, it's so interesting just how long your character holds the attacks to time it right. Just, just goes to show just how off the original animation was compared to what it's at now. Hell, you can get. Did I for? Is this is is this drop something I forgot exists or something I've just never seen before? Oh, cool. There's 78 attack, 101 combat. Not gonna lie, I'm bored of this. Am I allowed to be bored of this? I just got here. Oh, there's the 63 prayer. Yeah, these teak planks, like the one piece, just don't exist. I'm convinced. Guys, you hear that? You hear that? It's the sound of my chair not squeaking anymore. Four years and I finally got off my ass and fixed it. You know how long it took? 15 seconds. I even did my wife's chair. So everything's great now. No more random creaks in my audio while I'm editing that make me want to cry. Oh, maybe I'll start streaming again. Hey, we got a soft clay drop. Let's go. I hate my life. Okay, so we're at just over 2,500 big bones, which means 2,500 fire giant kills. Um, I wonder how long it's going to take. 
I wonder how long it's going to take. I'm pretty sure I'll end up with 80 attack before I get the teak drop, but who knows? I could get the teak drop literally next kill. That's the beauty of uh, RNG and gambling addictions. It could happen at any moment. All right, so while I'm trying to remember how to, like, you know, play properly, I have completely forgotten about things like the Jack of Trades aura. So we're going to do that. Now, if I could just remember how I do it. All right, so that is done. That is not what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to talk to this lady. It's been so long. Take the book, and I was debating on prayer or construction. I think we're going to go with construction. It's another 11K construction experience, and back to giants. Hey, there is 79 constitution. It's 2,700 fire giants, and nothing to show for it. I hate my life. There we go. That is 79 attack. Just one more level. One more level and we can use some better weapons. We just passed 2,900 uh, fire giant kills. 2,900 out of a drop that is technically a 1 in 75,000. You know, we're almost a drop rate. It's, it's practically guaranteed. All right, I have been brilliantly informed that there is a familiarization going on right now, and I should probably do that for reasons. I completely forgot how this works. What am I? Get the get the things. Get the things. What do we get? Outfit piece. I can put some plants in my house. <laughs> I can put some plants in my house. That's about it. And there we go. 80 attack is finally done. I it, in 102 combat, but it's finally done. I have been here forever. I have killed. 3,286 of these giants. Um, no teak planks, though. But it does mean we can finally get the upgrade. And I have these lying in the bank right now. So we're just going to switch straight to those. And I think... I think, yeah, I think I'm think i just going to go and try and complete that Reaper task. I feel like with the new combat update, since I last played, it should be a lot easier to do that. So we're going to try it out. All right, but moving from... Uh, Moving from like a tier 60 accuracy to a tier 75 accuracy is pretty nice. All right, so we have everything that I'm good with using. Uh, the Karis, the Baynite offhand longsword using the full hybrid armor. Um, got an inventory of potions and food. Prayer is fully locked in. Pretty, I'm pretty content with this. The short bow and arrows, the, um, the shield bow just in case. I'm just now realizing as I'm running here that I can teleport from War's Retreat. Oh, I don't have the agility level for that. God, this is what happens when you have, when you don't play in like six months. You forget everything that you've uh, you've worked so hard for. Oh, dude, I am doing so much. Let's see how this goes. 42% accuracy is not great. That's what I was working with before all this. And she's dead. Holy crap, that was quick. What'd she give me? Some wine is Zamorak, not bad. Get me out of here. <laughs> As somebody has already pointed out, the instance is set to the wrong amount of uh, things, so I can't track the actual kill time. <laughs> but that was way faster than like 10 minutes. And I, I have penance. I forgot I have penance. She's dropping sharks. She's not respawning, but there she goes. Let's do it. God damn, this is so nice. This is so nice. I mean, my hits are bad. They're terrible, but they're constant. And it means I can hit her with a debilitate and I don't have to worry about it just not working. Let's go, more sharks. Come on, yes. Hey, a new record, let's go. Uh, improvement at 13 seconds? Shit, that's nice. Sit. Sit. Yes! Another 4.2 seconds off the clock. Was there ever any doubt? Come on. Hey! <laughs> 73 ranged and a record improvement of, uh... Of 1.8 1, 1. 1. seconds? Hell yeah. Come on, something cool. Nope, there's the Reaper assignment. Three Reaper points! Wow! Oh, another improvement of 4.8 seconds. Oyster pearls, okay. I have gotten 25 kills on the Calphite Queen, nice. But all right, 26 kills. 
Uh, not too bad at all. I had 11 when I started this, so I was able to do 15 kills in an hour, which sounds like nothing at all until you consider all of the limitations I'm working with. Then it doesn't seem too bad. But yeah, I gotta say the new combat system, def massive improvement. Massive improvement for any kill times. I knew it was gonna be, but um, it's, it's from 15 minutes to two and a half. Like to two minutes and 35 seconds. That's, that is orders of magnitude faster. Uh, it, it's pretty insane how much faster it is now just, just on the premise that I don't miss anymore. So I think coming up next is um, going to Shifting Tombs and grinding out construction levels to make mermaid purses for the teak planks. I'm not gonna get the teak planks from fighting the uh, fire giants. It's just, it's just not happening. And I think most of my combat training should actually probably come from Slayer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do shifting tombs again, which is exhilarating. I am so, so enthused to be doing shifting tombs again, but it is another opportunity to get the offhand Kopesh. So I'll take it. Uh, it's been a few days, but I think it's time to sit down and really crack away at doing shifting tombs content, trying to get the construction level I need to move on with my life and um, hey, hope for a offhand Kopesh. Would it not be funny as hell if I open this chest just doing a, a, a Jack of Trades and I get the damn sword right now? Come on, please. I could end this episode right now. Oh, I'm not kidding. I saw the feathers and I thought I actually got the drop. Okay, so we got the book. All right, we got the book. I don't need to talk to you anymore. Um. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so herbal is a good idea. Construction's a good idea. Prayer's a good idea. I'm gonna go with prayer still. Yeah, we're gonna go with prayer still. We need to get to 80, and we've got a long way to go. A 1,500 prayer experience of run, 3,000 prayer experience of run. A run will take no longer than five minutes. Um, so 20 runs, an hour, then minus minus one or two runs due to in between time, and maybe failing the occasional run. So okay, let's say like 18 runs an hour. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, that's that's not too bad. It's 45k construction experience an hour, which actually that's abysmal, abysmal. And there is 64 prayer. And yeah, like I expected, my experience gain in both construction and prayer is roughly even, so say about 45k an hour for each. Oh shit, I didn't even notice. There is 62 construction. All right. I love that dopamine hit 26 whole rooms to put in my empty ass house. All right, great, another book. So I know I've been super like, like all over the place and inconsistent with what I'm picking for this book, but if we're being completely honest, construction is the direct bottleneck right now. Sure, I need 80 prayer in the future, and sure, higher herb lore is always better. But this is stopping me from doing anything else on the account, and honestly, after playing Shifting Tombs for only half an hour, I already hate myself. So, <laughs> we're gonna dump that into construction just to speed it up. Oh boy, it's my favorite time, getting nothing from Menify gift offerings. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Alright, well... No Kopesh still, but that is 63 construction. A teak cape rack for all those capes I don't have. Woo! And there is 65 prayer. That's, um, uh, rapid renewal if I had the uh, scroll for it. Finally, like, I, like, 25, 25 tombs or something, and I have something to look forward to. It's another Menifite gift offering. And what do I get? Nothing! God damn it, I hate it here. Okay, it's another day, and before I subject myself to another unending trials through Shifting Tombs, um, I've got a summoning challenge that I want to do. I might go ahead and knock out the other two while I'm at it, although they're not really necessary. And of course, we have the Jack of Trades aura that I'm going to be dumping into construction. So let's just get started with all that. Okay, another one of these auras done. We're going to drop that straight into construction experience. It's another 12,000 experience that I don't have to suffer through. There it is. 
66 prayer. What does that get me? Nothing. And in no time flat for you, and a lot of time for me, that is 65 construction. All right, two gift offerings from one dungeon. So please, please give me something I want. No. And no, and more chimes. I love that, thank you. Okay, and there is 66 construction. And 67 prayer. At this rate, I might actually have 80 prayer before I have the construction level. Wouldn't that be funny? There is 67 construction. Finally, um, we're gonna take a break from this and we're gonna go complete another Reaper task for the Calphite Queen because I managed to get one on the first try from Grim, so it should be the full reward. And I really need a break from this. And then we're gonna come back. I think I'm gonna try and get this counter up to 300k for the day. Uh, uh, surprise 63 herb lore. Um, I was here, uh, just making prayer potions to prepare for the fight because I ran out, but yeah, it's 63. Great, great. All right, first drop. What do we get? Law runes. Love that for me. Oh, I mean, it's like a lot of them. I was thinking this earlier, but you know, it'd be cool. A prayer, just like a normal prayer book prayer that just increases your crit chance. I think that'd be nice. What do you guys think? Oh my god, I fucking got it! Oh my god, I fucking got it! I, uh, I, um, uh, uh, no, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Holy shit! Holy shit! I have been trying to get this fucking piece of shit for four years! Oh my god, I can't even wield it! But there it is! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe I finally have one of these. It's such a dumb thing to be hyped about. It's such a dumb thing to be hyped about. It's worth 45 fucking mil though! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. I've decided I'm completely done with shifting tombs for today. I want to be able to get this offhand equipped, so I'm going to get the two attack levels needed. I'm just going to do some Slayer. I got 174 Turoths. I can fight them with melee. Need to do Slayer anyway. Let's do it. Mod Blackwitch killed it with this area. It looks so much nicer than it did last time I was down here. Like, what, like nine months ago? Six months ago or something? All right. Oh, 15 tasks in a row. Not bad. Okay, let's, uh, let's get something else. So I heard these things got buffed while I was gone, and then maybe like nerfed while I was gone. So, I don't know. I guess I guess we'll see. Oh, time flies when you're not paying attention. There we go. That task is done. Let's get something less uh, boring. Cape Claws are boring as hell, man. Bro, I look away for a second and I come back, and I, this this fucking guy. All right, let's see. What do we get? What's the task? Oh, spirit dimpling. No, uh, go away, Simona. <laughs> Give me that. It's just some charms. Damn it! Okay, great. Cow fights. Woo! All right, another pretty easy task done. I think I'll just ride out their uh, aggression on this. This is pretty. This is pretty good. It's you know 300 experience per kill. It's not the best, um, but they're aggressive. Most of the things I've been fighting aren't. So this is kind of a nice change of pace. Okay, so I've been putting this off for really no particular reason. I'm like 20 levels past being able to plant a cactus and there are two cactus patches out here so I should I should really just just do it <laughs> okay there we go they're not the good cactuses they're the ones that just give you cactus spines but I don't have the seeds or the level for the better cactus yet all right so it's gonna be banshees all of these are always costing slayer tickets but holy christ I'm so glad I have these Okay, that task is done. Get me the hell out of here. Oh shit, that's the first one I'm locked out on. Trolls and blue dragons. Okay, so I'm gonna have to like skip slash block one of these. Uh, let me double check Simona's like waiting to see which one she's more likely to 
to give me in the future so I can just block it. All right, I kind of assumed this much, but yeah, she actually is twice as likely to give you trolls as she has blue dragons. So I'll take the trolls, which I can't kill, and then immediately uh, block that task. I mean, who doesn't block trolls anyway? Yeah, both in real life and in the game. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, finally, something to spend my points on, I guess. Yeah, I can afford to block one more thing too, so this is this is okay. Oh. 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 I didn't know that was a thing. All right. Well, I guess that's how I'm going to be doing things. Can I even make a prefer? Can I, like, make a prefer list to improve my odds of getting tasks that I can do in the desert? Or should I bother? Huh. All right. Well, let's see. What should give me this time? Graders and grot worms. Oh my god, again, something I can't do either of. Oh no, don't lock me out like this. Turoths, give me those. Thank you. Awesome. Turoths it is. Jeez. I guess my luck was bound bound to run out eventually, but that was kind of scary. That's 60 slayer points just poof, gone. Yeah, it's a bummer about that 50 quest requirement thing, uh, or quest point requirement, because that is numerically impossible for me to get. They have done some tweaking to the quests in the game since I've been gone, and I can technically do one more quest. I can do uh, uh, dealing with Scabrous, I think. Yeah, I think it's dealing with Scabrous, but that's not... I have 22 quest points. That's not going to hand me 28 more, you know? So I'm pretty much locked out of being able to block tasks. It's just weird. I had no idea that was a requirement. I, you know... I guess, why would I? Just assumed it was just something you could do. Uh, I'm not really upset by it, but it does just kind of mean that I'm going to always have to be a little careful. Um, I, I was hoping to, like, you know, make a block prefer list that just uh, completely locked in, locked out most of the, like, wild cards for a Slayer task. Like, things that I just could not do that could also be assigned to me pretty regularly. You know, things with a high weighting, but outside the desert, kind of like trolls. Trolls is a perfect example of that. Oh, a close scroll. Cool. Can I do it? No. Um, anyway, yeah, that was just, that was kind of just the, the, the plan was to do something like that, but um, this puts a pretty big damper on that. So I I'm sure I can still just keep up with just canceling tasks, and I might still be able to prefer things. I don't know if the prefer list has that same quest requirement. I'm assuming it does. Uh, but on the off chance that it doesn't... Where's that other tree? There we go. Um, on the off chance that it doesn't, then I can still prefer some of the lower-weighted desert tasks to improve my odds by... Uh, you know, improve my odds that way. But... Oh well, I guess. Oh, ha! Turoth boots! Neat. Some, uh, ranged power boots. Wouldn't be too bad. 67 Slayer, that's Crestbots. Love that. Actually, that's that's great. It's an example of a non, like, a non-issue. Because I don't have the quest completed, anybody who would normally be able to assign me Crestbots will not assign them to me. So it's kind of just like a dead slot. Um... My, my odds of getting something, getting a Slayer task in or out of the desert is completely unchanged. Okay, another task done. Um, yeah, on to the next, I guess. Banshees again, huh? I'm starting to remember why I stopped training Slayer last time. I don't really feel like doing that, so I'm gonna go kill Desert Bandits. Hey guys, I'm back. I missed it here. And there's 81 attack. Oh, Meteor Strike. That's pretty big. That's... Actually, that's really big. I like that. Hey, there is 80 Constitution. And 103 combat. There we go. Finally, 82 attack. I'm getting out of here. I'm tired of this. I'm gonna get me my sword. <laughs> Uh, it's a bummer that it's all, like, rusty looking, but at the same time, I also kind of like it. 
Oh, I'm so happy to finally have this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and definitely consider joining the Discord for more. Links to everything in the description below. It is awesome to be back, and I have to thank all of you for bringing me back, because that is really what did it. I'm excited to get right back into this and properly finish this series and give it the send-off it deserves, instead of leaving it at the cliffhanger that we did with episode 40. And as such, if you're watching this as it came out, I am currently live. I'm not sure if I'm on the desert only in live, but I am live, and I am live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday until further notice. So definitely drop by the Twitch, come say hello, come support the channel in a new and different way, and uh, tell me how bad I am in front of a camera. Yeah, that's it. Thank you all again so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.